Hello everyone and welcome back to Study Pickle. In this video, I'm going to be doing a study with me and I'm so glad you can join me. Today I'm going to just sort of ramble in this voiceover while I study in the background. So grab some water, a snack, and all your supplies and let's get right into today's study session. It's been really rainy and gloomy lately, but for some reason I love it when it rains. I like to cuddle up in a warm blanket, and if I go out, I love wearing my puffy jacket and I love using my umbrella. I know it looks sunny in this video, but since the weather in Southern California is usually sunny, when it rains, sometimes the sun is also out. The first thing I usually tend to work on is my pre-calculus homework because that takes up a majority of my time and effort. I'm taking an 8 week course, so the content is much more condensed. And because of that, our tests are basically every week. I prioritize pre-cal because I really can't afford to fail or get less than a B in math. I'll pretty much be taking math at least until I transfer, if not afterwards. And since I didn't do so well on my placement test before starting college, I was placed in a lower level math. The thing about majoring in anything that requires a lot of math, like engineering, computer science, or accounting, is that you really have to do well in math because failing a math class will set you back since you can't take the next level before passing the first. I'm about a month into school right now and so far it's going well. I'm taking more than what's considered full time, so it's actually taking up a lot of my time and energy, but that's what I get for wanting to finish my major faster. At this point I can pretty much understand the expectations of all my classes, so that's good I guess. I find there's a huge learning curve for my computer science class, so I spend a lot of time at home programming and reading the textbook. Some professors expect you to read the textbook ahead of time and then apply what you've learned in class. Like for example, I'm expected to learn a lot of the content for my computer science class beforehand. So we can do labs in our class and create programs each day instead of spending class time listening to lecture. This sounded a bit weird and really time consuming to me at first, but it kind of makes sense to me now because the only way to really learn how to program is to actually program. If he gives us a lecture and then sends us home to make code on our own, I don't think that would be as helpful as if he just let us make code in class and offered us help as we needed it. Like I said, the only way to really learn how to program is to actually program. So our professor had us sign up for this course on this website called codehs.com where they have tutorials for you to code and then you make your own program based on what the tutorial had just taught you. He also had us sign up for Codecademy, which you get a free trial and then you pay for it after the trial is over. I don't know how much it is afterward though. Every week he assigns us a few lessons from CodeHS and then we also have some reading from the textbook. To be honest, I was really scared to take my first computer science class because when I talked to my counselor and got an education plan, he was like, this class is the weeder, it weeds out the weak ones, 
And I was like, okay, that's really weird for a counselor to be telling a student. But me being the person that I am, I love challenges. And hearing that only made me want to take the class even more. And by the way, if someone tries to discourage you from doing something, that's not good. You shouldn't be friends with that person. I've had people say things like, are you sure? Are you sure that's what you want to do? And I'm like, why? Am I not good enough to do that? Like, just hearing the words, are you sure, is sometimes enough to discourage someone from doing something, and that's a really toxic thing to say sometimes. When people are passionate about doing something, the worst thing someone can do is talk them out of it. People have these weird expectations about everything, and when you don't fit that bubble of expectation, all of a sudden you're not cut out to do that thing. But if you really think about it, nobody is actually inherently good at anything. Like no one is born with a mic in their hand and they're already good at singing. Sure, people can be talented, but talent only gets you so far. You also need to work hard at the thing you want to get good at in order to master it. And if you love doing it enough, you won't mind putting in all that time and effort to get good at it. Currently, the motto I have for this channel is do your best and don't be so hard on yourself. And I actually live by that all the time because it's so easy to be like, I can't get this right, I suck at this, and just beat yourself up about something. But it's way better to be like, I tried, I did my best, and that's what matters. Tomorrow is always another day to improve whatever it is you're doing. And trying is better than not doing anything at all. I've honestly had a pretty hectic week and I exhausted myself from how stressed I was at one point. On Monday morning, one of the tires on my car had cracked, and I thought I could make it to the tire place, which was only 15 minutes away, but I couldn't. I filled it up with air at the gas station, and within like 7 or 8 minutes, my tire pressure went all the way down to 1 PSI. Luckily, I had AAA, but I was in a really weird spot, so it took them like 2 hours to get to me. My car did come with the tools to replace the tire, but the lug nuts were really tight. And by the time someone had stopped to help me loosen them, AAA showed up right then. So unfortunately, I had to miss my 8 a.m. class that Monday morning, but it's whatever. I had a test the next day and I still think I did okay. After our test, my classmates and I like to talk about what we got on each answer, and I surprised myself by knowing exactly what I did to get my answer. I'll be explaining exactly what I did step by step, which surprises me because in the past, I used to just data dump everything right after a test. I guess my recall is getting better. I don't know what it is, but it's good for me. Anyway, that's all I had to talk about this study with me. I might make these study with me once a month. So if you really like this video, stay tuned for more and definitely subscribe. And if you're new to my channel, I make new videos every week about study tips and college lifestyle. I also have a Tumblr and Instagram link below where I also post study tips and really pretty pictures of my notes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.